Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kinney was asked if people are safe in the city. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo continues our team coverage. He's in Old City right now. Matt? Yuki, the Philadelphia mayor didn't mince words warning people should be concerned with their safety in the city as carjackings continue to climb. Philadelphia police need help identifying this gunman who officers say tied up a FedEx driver in the back of his truck in the city's Frankfurt section, then took off and crashed before running away. Be concerned about in a car what, what's around me. Mayor Jim Kenney speaking Tuesday after he was asked if people should feel safe in Philadelphia amid a surge in carjackings. I think people should be concerned about their safety. I do. I think that there are too many guns on the street. I wouldn't. Go, I wouldn't hide in the basement, but I would be concerned about my surroundings. Some people tell us they're cautious when out and about. I try to park near where I'm going. I try not to walk alone too far. I maybe wouldn't want to walk around here at midnight. I think people should be concerned. We also showed the mayor's response to people from out of state visiting Independence Mall. I feel perfectly safe here. Many visitors were not aware of what some call an out of control crisis of carjackings. I would not have thought of crime as an issue. We didn't feel nervous driving around the city. We don't feel nervous walking around the city. But the troubling trend has even hit this area earlier this month when a mother was carjacked a few blocks away over at Third and Chestnut. Philadelphia DA Larry Krasner. This is another aspect of gun violence. It's truly terrible. It's traumatic. Even where there's no injury, it's a traumatic experience. So they should be concerned about it. And Philadelphia police reiterating today carjackers are targeting Toyota RAV4s and Highlanders, but officers aren't sure why. Live in Old City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Matt, thank you. We certainly invite you to stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the carjacking crisis in Philadelphia. When we are not on television, you can always find the latest developments at CBSPhilly.com and on our streaming service, CBS News Philly.